problem that a lot of dogs that come to us have a problem with. He came to us on a pinch collar, so the owners were already using a pinch collar. I'm not sure for how long. And Tiago's a big, strong dog. He was quite comfortable falling on the pinch collar, as you can see. Now, I'm a couple sessions into Tiago. The collar isn't going to train the dog. The training trains the dog. Just whatever you're using, e-collar, prong collar, whatever. And if you use it like a bandage, that's all it will ever be. And like most bandages, it'll quickly lose its effectiveness. So what we do, even if we get dogs that already pull on the pinch collar coming in, is we start immediately sensitizing the dog to the collar. What we want to be doing, number one, is two things. First, like I said, we've got to sensitize the dog to the collar, but we also have to teach the dog respect on the leash. And he has, you know, it's not because he's mean or anything or, or you know, anything bad about him. He just doesn't have any respect on the leash because he hasn't been taught. So for basic respect on the leash, all I do is walk and stop. So I'm going to walk with the dog and I'm going to stop. And as you can see there, he pulled ever so slightly at the collar. So I gave a quick backward snap of the leash. You never ever pull me, whether I'm standing still or whether I'm moving. If I'm walking, you walk with me. You don't stop to smell the daisies and therefore cause me to pull on you. I want a dog that doesn't stay at the end of the leash. He doesn't have to be right next to me, but he can't be always at just the, the very end of the leash. I don't like that. I want a dog who keeps a nice, bend in the leash and a dog who's aware of where I am in relation to him. He doesn't have to look at me, but he does have to be right there. He stopped, but then he got a little distracted and went to go sniff the fridge and right away, quick pop. And what you see is if you do this properly, the dog starts giving you more engagement. And when I have a dog that is aware of where I am and reserves a part of his little brain for me, I have a dog that I can then give more information to. So I don't generally start training a dog for functional obedience until I have basic control on the leash. And this is really, really easy, guys. If you have a halfway decent timing, you're not gonna have a problem. That's a couple of points. Yeah, buddy. The other thing, too, is you see me really popping on this dog. Well, there's a couple of reasons for it. Number one, he's not physically sensitive. Mentally, he's sensitive. But physically, like a lot of presses, he's not particularly sensitive. If you have a very sensitive dog, you don't want to be needing it big pops the way I am. Here's the little secret. The prong collar, it doesn't matter where it sits, high, low, whatever, as long as you're using it properly, right? And for me, the prong collar is like training wheels. The dog's not going to be in it forever, so I'm not too particular about where it sits and exactly how it is. I just want to be able to use it to get my message across to the dog, teach him the basics, etc. This is just my second day with Tiago here, and as you can see, you know, he's happy to learn because I'm speaking his language.